Good afternoon. Um, sorry it took so long to get this to you. Uh, I'm going to have to upload it and then get it to you tonight because I have some things I have to do this late afternoon, but I can get this recorded and uh, start the rendering and uploading. Um, we were presented this problem that I have on the iPad now, and I provided you with a solution that uh, may, uh, it appeared to be incorrect because it didn't match the structure of the solution given. And when I looked at the solution given, it made mentally, or uh, it, I, it, it was reminiscent of a completely different problem I shouldn't say completely different problem. A, a problem that would result in that uh, is typically presented during uh, some indifference identities because the, the structure ends up looking like that almost every single time unless one of the terms to, uh, goes to zero or one. But in any case, um, what I'll show you, I'll go through the process so it's slower and um, for both and show you that they're equivalently or they're equivalent expressions mathematically. So uh, with the half angle, uh, we have to make the thing on the left structurally look like this. And one minus cosine x. You can put theta in there too, does not matter. X is the angle measure. And so we have to make this look like something divided by two, and we want this x to be one of our nice angles, okay? So we would rewrite this. Uh, can I use the purple? Is it too? Oh, I can use the bright colors now. I'm going to rewrite this as five. Yes, the thing somehow inadvertently changes to the eraser. Um, and again, in your class, this is the first time I wrote it this way, and it just seems easier to see. I don't know. Is this one of our nice angles? I believe so, 5 pi over 6. And if I multiplied these two fractions, I'd get 5 pi over 12. I hopefully you know, recall, I'll remind you that multiplying times 1 half is the same as dividing by 2. So this is equivalent to the sine of 5 pi over 6 divided by 2, which is that structure. So that means that my x angle in my half angle uh, formula is 5 pi over 6. So I can use the blue formula to determine what 5 pi over 6 divided by 2 is, which of course was the original equation or uh, expression sine of 5 pi over 12. So that's how, I'm, how we're going to use this to manipulate or find the re response so that we can use our, our knowledge of these nice angles. So that's equivalent to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine. And now I'm going to use that x angle, 5 pi over 6, divided by 2. But recall, I'm going to draw a little diagram here, a little sketch. 5 pi over 6 is this angle over here with the reference angle of pi over 6. Hopefully we recall that being 5 pi over 6. Hopefully we recall then that this is the 30... 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, and that the cosine is square root 3 over 2, negative. So this becomes plus or minus the square root of 1 minus negative square root 3 over 2 divided by 2. And we can start talking about where, th where this angle is actually located. 5 pi over 12 if it was 6 pi over 12, it would be 90 degrees. So 5 pi over 12 is over here in the first quadrant, which means the sine of that, and if it was in the second quadrant, it wouldn't matter anyway. The sine of that angle is going to be positive, so we can disregard this negative sign, and we go straight, right to, the, straight to the positive version of our answer, will be the answer that the computer is looking for. And we discovered that anyway, but that's okay. So we're going to simplify this to be 1 plus square root 3 over 2 divided by 2. If you wanted to, it's not any more simple. We could rewrite this as uh, 1 over 2 plus the square root of 3 over 4. Actually, the, the second one I just wrote is a little bit more simple because I don't have a fraction divided by some other number. I just have to sum of two fractions. If you wanted to, you could get common denominators under the radical, but that wouldn't be actually any more simple. Okay, so let's keep in mind, this is the solution that I got 
yesterday as well. And so let's look at using the uh, sum and difference. Um, sum and difference identities to do the same work with the same, well, a diff similar work with the same problem. So remember, sine 5 pi over 12. Okay, I'm going to scoot that up, sine pi over 12. We're going to leave that sort of on the screen so we can see it. So I'm working again with five, sine 5 pi over 12. Now, I already worked this out, but I don't have the thing that I worked it out. It's buried inside notability, so I'm going to have to sort this out again. Um, I have to try to turn this into something minus something, like uh, 9 pi over 12 minus 4 pi over 12. Why does that work? Because 9 pi over 12 is equivalent, uh, minus 4 pi over 12 is equivalent to 5 pi over 12. So if I do it that way, that means I can, uh, that means I'm using uh, the sign, the difference identity for sine. I could have also, I think, used the following. Let me see if I can remember what I did yesterday. I think 2 pi over 12 plus 3 pi over 12. Um, and that would be the sum. How is it that I can use these? Well, keep in mind that 9 and 12 can be simplified. So I can get 3 pi over 4. That's one of our nice angles. And I can get pi over 3. And that's one of our nice angles. This can be simplified to pi over 6. And this can be simplified as to pi over 4. So those both are two of our nice angles as well. So I can get those exact values, cosine or sines of those numbers, of those angle measures, such that my numbers are exact values uh, with those root values. So that's just two different ways to do it. There's infinitely many different combinations you could do. And you could go around the unit circle like 16 times and have some gigantic angle, but it doesn't matter. It's the same, the same thing, right? Uh, the sine of pi over 4 is the same as the sine of 9 pi over 4. I just rotated around 8 pi's over 4 and one more to get to the same terminal side. Okay, so... Um, Let's use one of these. Since this is the one I have written right here, we're just going to use that. Let's uh, take a look again at the uh, identity itself. So it is written. I'm going to have to scrunch this up a little bit. Um, the sine of, since I'm using the, the difference, because that's what I've written there, alpha minus beta. So I'm splitting up that angle into an alpha component and a beta component. And that's equivalent to the sine of alpha times the cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine of beta. So if I fill that in, I'm going to not have, well, I guess I should. I'm going to have the sine of, uh, I don't want 9 pi. I want this, 3 pi over 4 minus pi over 3, uh, which is equal to the sine of 3 pi over 4 times the cosine of pi over 3, because that's my beta, minus the cosine of alpha, 3 pi over 4, times the sine of beta, which is pi over 3. Okay. Now, I'm just going to work on that left-hand side. I'm scooting to the left for space. So the sine of 3 pi over 4, I'm going to draw, draw two little sketches over here. 3 pi over 4 is 1, 2, 3 pi's over 4. Right, And of course, that's a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So I know that this is square root 2 over 2, the leg length. The leg length over here is square root 2 over 2. It's in the negative x direction, so that's going to be negative. This will be positive. Uh, and for the other angle, I have pi over 3. That's the skinny or tall one here, because this is a 60 degree angle, pi over 3. And this has the uh, length of square root 3 over 2. And this has a length of 1 half, the length of the legs specifically, when the hypotenuses are 1 in the unit circle. So now if I'm looking at the sine of 3 pi over 4, that's over here, I got square root 2 over 2. So that first term, or the first factor in the first term is square root 2 over 2. The second factor is cosine of pi over 3. So that's this 1 half. That's this 1 half right here. And I'm going to subtract the uh, first factor of the second term, cosine of 3 pi over 4. That's going to be negative square root 2 over 2. So this is negative square root 2 over 2. And then sine pi over 3 is going to be this height here, radical 3 over 2 in the other diagram. 
So then when I multiply the first two factors, I get square root 2 over 4. And when I multiply the second two factors, I get negative square root 6 over 4, which is square root 2 over 4 minus minus, minus a negative. That's going to be plus square root 6 over 4. And this, of course, can be merged. One is not more simple than the other. And I'm going to change the order because if we go back and look, what was written in um, mom was this, square root 6 plus square root 2 over 4. And so the question is, are those two things equivalent? So let me scoot this out. And I think I can grab this. Can I grab this? Why can't I grab this? There we go. I want to grab it and move it the other way. So you can see, I, I did this yesterday. Uh, I wrote this one that way. That's this. Getting a common denominator, this would be 2. Multiply this times 2 over 2, and I would get 2 over 4 plus radical 3 over 4, which, of course, is, that's under square root, uh, 2 plus root 3 over 4. So that's this, this one right here. I'm going to do a highlighter thing. I don't do this often. That's this one, right? to the left of where I'm highlighting. That doesn't work very effectively. And uh, to the left of now highlighting this orange is this one down here. Okay, But note that they're both equal to 0.96592582.63. So they're mathematically equivalent. So my answer would have been fine if I typed it in, even though it didn't match. They're mathematically equivalent. And uh, it, it kind of goes to show you that you could use either method for to complete this question. So whatever you see that works, even though uh, it didn't specify that you had to use the half angle, but even though this problem exists in the half angle section, um, you could have just as well used the other identity. Um, it doesn't matter. Okay, so hopefully this is helpful and I'll send them that PDF as well. Uh, thanks much for your time and thank you for your patience yesterday. Um, I'll be there Friday around 8.30. I don't know. Whatever you need. Take care.